Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming my December favorites. I have some products that I've rediscovered this month and like one new product that I've really been liking. So I'm just going to get straight into the video and if you haven't seen my Christmas haul, I did show what I'm wearing today. This is my new uh, jersey that I, I got. Um, it's from the New England Patriots. I will That video will be up before this one, so I'll link it below so you guys can check it out. But now I'm just going to get into the favorites. So I started my new job in November and... I'm starting to wear more makeup to work every day, so I'm just going to show you guys like what I like to wear on a general basis, and that's like what my December favorites really are, the products that I find myself wearing most often to work. So the first thing I want to start off with is a nail polish, and I actually bought this, when did I get this? I got this earlier in the month, and I've been wearing this on my nails almost every day, and it's Sephora by OPI in Ruby Without a Cause. So it's this polish here, it's so pretty. I did a whole nail of a day post on my blog about this. It's such a beautiful berry red color, perfect for the holidays. That's why I've been wearing it a lot. And it's on my nails today. It's a little chipped, but I've just been in love with it. It was opaque in one coat, and it's just one of the best nail polishes I own. So I really have loved this. Another product that I've been using, and it's almost gone, is my Philosophy Kiss of Hope lip treatment. And this is what it looks like. I ordered this on Holt Look. Um, probably back in the spring and as you can see this is all that's left it's basically a chapstick except it's got SPF 15 in it and it smells really good and it's really really moisturizing I like to use it at night more than anything and the packaging of this is just so cute it actually says on it a kiss is worth hoping for so it's just I really really liked this product and I'm gonna be sad when I finish it up so for eyeshadow I have like three kind of eyeshadow related things. Uh, this is my Urban Decay Ammo Palette and I've been actually using this a lot this month, particularly for the shade Sin, which is one of Urban Decay's like most known eyeshadows, which is right here. It's such a pretty color to wear all over your lid and it really wakes up your eyes and makes you look more wide awake and everything, so I've been loving that. Another product that I used to hate this product, but now I really like it. Well, I don't really like it, but I use it more. It's my Wen Wild Idolize Cream Shadow Pencil in Pixie, which is 130. Uh, basically, the only way I can use this is a base under my eyeshadows, and it just kind of holds the eyeshadows in place all day and just gives them a little bit extra, just a little bit something extra. Um, this isn't my favorite. This isn't my favorite product in the world, but I'm using it because I have it, um, and it costs $1.99 at the drugstore. And Wet n Wild's on a sale a lot at Rite Aid, so you can find this on sale a lot of the times. Uh, my next favorite of the month is my Stila Smudge Pot and Kitten. You guys know that I rave about this guy right here. One of my favorite all-time products that I use. It's very similar to the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadows. It's sort of the same concept. It's like a MAC Paint Pot, but this is in Stila's uh, Signature Color Kitten. It's very, very, very similar to Urban Decay Sin, except this one is slightly more pink, I think, and that one's a little bit more, um, probably more yellow, I guess. I'm not really sure. But this I love to wear just as an all, all over the lid, just a swipe of color. Uh, usually I'll just wear this on the lid, and that's it. Um, it doesn't crease, so you don't need a primer underneath it. It dries really nice. It lasts all day long, and it's just one of my favorite products that I've ever bought. And I'm so glad I finally did when I purchased it. My mascara favorite of the month is my Benefit Their Real Mascara. Um, I had a mini size of this and I fell in love with it and then I decided to go and buy a full size. It's like the best mascara that I've ever tried, honestly. Um, I'll show you the wand. It's a little bit different because it's got... I want the camera focus. It's a rubber wand and it's got the spiky ball at the end and I think it's it works so well because what the spiky ball does is it like pulls up the lashes on the very end and that's why I think I like this so much. It gives my lashes so much volume and length and also the only thing about this, this mascara is if you buy it, the first couple of times you may not like it because it's really wet but once the mascara dries out a little bit, which now that it has for me because I've used it for about two weeks now, it's like perfect. It's a little bit better when it dries out. The formula is a little bit too wet at first but like I said, if you let it dry out then it's perfect. Uh, and my last two products of the month are face related. Um, I've actually been using my Dr. Jart Beauty Balm a lot more this month. Um, I just use like one little layer on my face and I put a little powder on and that's it. Uh, I discovered this in my Birch Box a couple of months back. Uh, I got a sample and I decided to buy a full size. It's about 20, 
five to thirty dollars depending on where you get it. It's really nice because it just kind of it doesn't. It's just I don't know how to describe it. It's just a really nice product. Um, it's got SPF 25 in it, and it's supposed to correct like your redness and your spots and everything. And I just really like it, so that's that. And then my final product for my December favorites is my Mac MSF Natural in Medium, which is this guy right here. Um, I'm getting close to using this up because you can kind of see like the tracks in it a little bit. So I think that means I'm getting closer to hitting pan. I've had this for almost a year now and I use it quite frequently. It's light enough that it doesn't make you look cakey, but it adds just a little bit of color to your face that is really nice. It holds in place really well. I like to use it in my T-zone because that's where I get oily the most, my nose and my forehead and like in here. Um, it's just a night light, light wash of color and I will probably repurchase it in the future because it's totally worth it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this favorites video. I hope you guys have a great New Year's Eve if I don't have a video up. And stay tuned to my channel because I will be having a 200 subscriber giveaway soon. Um, I haven't decided what I want to do for the prizes yet, but I will be thinking about that and probably next weekend you'll see a video about it. So I hope you had a great Christmas and Happy New Year's. Bye.